Hi guys, so this video is actually a customer request. So in my last uh, video, I basically went over that I'm going to be doing these short videos, these short tips on how to complete, you know, different tasks. So the main one that he came back with was, you know, how do I process a free entry? So, so how do you do that? So you basically, all, all the information they send you on the postcard, uh, obviously they'll have to send their name, their email, that, those kind of things. You're going to quickly create them an account, switch to their account from the admin dashboard. And I'll show you just on the screen now how to do that. Uh, purchase a ticket on their behalf, but using a discount code. So like a 100% off discount code. So it doesn't cost any money. Obviously, it's a free entry. So let's get into that right now. So what you want to do, first of all, is install a plugin called user switching. So toggle menu, menu uh, and add new plugin. Now, I've already done this before this video, just so I don't make a fool of myself. Uh, user switch. So you just type in user switching in the top right. Should be the first plugin that comes up. So there it is. It's called user switching. Uh, activate that and inst or install and then activate that. So once that's done, just go back to toggle menu down the left hand corner and hit users. This will give you a list of users on your website uh, and customers. So you'll be in there uh, and all your customers. So what you want to do now is basically create that user that sent you the postcard and wants a free entry. Um, so you want to go ahead and click add new. So up here, all you need to do is type in their username. Say their username is Chris or their name is Chris. So make it simple. Chris. And then their email that they sent on the postcard is chris at gmail.com. Uh, type in their first name as Chris. Uh, if they have a, if they put their second name on it, you know, Smith, they won't have a website. Language is default. Password, you can keep the password uh, as is, so it'll generate a password for that person. You won't actually need to use that, but if they do want to log into their, to their account, you know, uh, first of all, they will get an email saying their account has been created. Uh, this is automatic, by the way. So automatic uh, email to say that their account has been created. Here's their password. Uh, send the, um, basically that, that's under the send user notification. So that left that as ticked. Their role is going to be a customer. Do not set them as administrator because that will give you them access to your website. So customer only. So add new user. And you'll now see Chris now comes up here. So Chris Smith, Chris, Chris at gmail.com and they're a customer. So with that plugin that we just installed, you now want to switch to that person. Actually, before you click that, we do need to create a discount code. So we'll go in, click toggle menu and go marketing and then coupons. So in here, all we want to do is add a coupon. generate coupon code is always a good one especially for this kind of thing you want to make this as hard as possible so nobody will guess it do not use free as the coupon code because someone will tire their arm and it'll happen and you'll give them 100 percent off so if you go generate coupon code it'll give you know a random code here make sure you copy that it'll always be there so you can go in and see what it was uh, if you need to do these a couple of times uh, in the discount type, we're going to go percentage discount and then type in 100% discount in the coupon amount here. You will also want to add usage restrictions here. So there's a chance that this coupon code might end up on the, um, on the receipt sent to the user after you've checked out for them. So what you need to do is go usage limits. Uh, and then where it goes usage limit per coupon, add in, so say you need to process 10 different ones of these uh, and you don't want to keep on adding coupons for the 10 times, uh, you could add in 10 here and then once you've finished that, you know that coupon is going to be, um, you know, finished. Uh, I would recommend doing this because if someone gets, uh, if someone gets their hands on this coupon, they could uh, check out on your website for free. You could then, in you know in the back end just disinvoy those um free orders 
but um, it's best just to make sure that you edit this coupon to make sure the usage limits are done or after so say you don't want to create usage limits make sure after you've finished processing your free entries move it to the bin because this entry or this coupon might turn up on the um, like receipt email that gets sent to the user uh, at the end okay and then go publish okay now we've got our discount code I'm gonna give that a copy because we'll be using that soon uh, go back down toggle menu go back to where is it users okay so just before we want to switch to this user here uh, we actually need to edit them once more so go back into the user that you just created and scroll on down to their customer billing address um, yeah so customer billing address just make sure that the first name last name and their address is all set so you know you put in here one main street uh, their city might be London London you know SW11RF uh, their country it's fine you can put in their phone number if they've put it on so go ahead and update that user it's good to just do that now because sometimes uh, WooCommerce can copy information from uh, your account to theirs which is a bit strange it's happened to me once or twice so yeah that's all grand so we'll go back to users and then we'll go switch to okay that's us logged in as Chris uh, you'll see that he doesn't have any orders at the moment but if we go browse products I'll bring you to your homepage, which is where all your competitions are. Uh, Chris wants a ticket for the Porsche 911 here. Head on down, answer the question form. Obviously, with a free draw, you only get one ticket. You would specify that in your terms and conditions so someone doesn't send you a thousand uh, postcards. So that's us view the basket it's because it's already in a basket now you can enter the coupon code here so you can you know type that in there and apply coupon that would then give you um 100 off here but let's go ahead and proceed to checkout because you can add it on checkout as well okay so when we're on the final checkout page you'll see all the billing details that you entered earlier uh, and also the order details how much it is uh, and obviously you've got your payment gateway whatever one you've installed here this is obviously trust payments um, but we don't want to charge anyone for this including yourself because you'll be putting it through so grab that coupon code that you created earlier for the 100% off click uh, click here to enter your coupon code click there copy it in or paste it in there you go coupon code applied successfully you'll see that the payment gateway goes away because the total is now zero uh, agree to the terms and conditions on their behalf uh, and click place order and that is how you uh, process a free order now obviously a few of those steps you won't have to do the second time round or third time round uh, you won't have to install the plugin you'll uh, it'll just be a lot easier so you can go there and that person will get an email obviously because they've just checked out and got a free uh, ticket with their ticket number the answer they've uh, put in on their postcard um, but if you go into their account you'll also see in the order section here their free order so if you and there it is all the free order information uh, and that's it that's how you process a free entry uh, if someone sends you in a postcard uh, and again any questions about the the DIY raffle website that you want answered in this kind of medium let me know all the best cheers